Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you are here with me today. We have so much to get done in today's video. I hope it brings y'all tons of motivation. I hope y'all are ready to get up and get moving with me today because I gotta say, I felt so good after I got all this cleaning done. I am actually starting today off in my bathroom because this is a room that can get away from me really easily and I've been trying to keep up with it as good as I can. This is not too bad considering how it looks sometimes. So I wanted to get everything straightened up and just get my day going and start marking stuff off my to-do list. I actually ordered myself a new hair dryer. It's from Amazon. I have not even tried it yet. So once I do for a little while, I'll let y'all know if I love it. It was not super cheap, but it also was not super expensive. And the one that I had for a very long time started to smell really bad and it was actually sparking. So I figure it's not very safe anymore. So I got a new one. It's always fun to get new stuff, but I also think that that's just a sign of being in your thirties when hair dryers and other things like that are exciting. I wanted to share with you guys my Vanity Planet facial brush. Honestly, it has become my new favorite thing. I've been using it for a few months now, and I wanted to share it too because I have an insanely amazing discount for y'all, and Christmas is coming up, so this would make an incredible gift. I use this every single day. I typically use it in the shower, but sometimes I use it here at my counter for the sake of this video and y'all don't want to see me in the shower. I'm going to use it here at the counter and something about this brush makes it to where you don't make the huge mess that you typically make when you're washing your face. It comes with three different types of brushes. I typically use the daily cleansing brush, but it also comes with an exfoliating one and one for sensitive skin too. So it's for all skin types and it comes in this nice traveling case that keeps it compact clean but also ready to go at a moment's notice. I know I've mentioned to y'all before that I have really struggled with acne in the past and it can be so incredibly frustrating but since I have used this brush honestly I've noticed the biggest difference not only in the way my skin feels but also the way that it looks and this brush alone First of all, is the best brush I've ever used hands down for my face, but it helps boost your collagen. It also removes any kind of dirt or makeup that might be on your face. It helps prevent all of those breakouts that tend to flare up, especially during certain times of the month. And the silicone brush is actually antibacterial, which is pretty much unlike any other type of facial brush on the market. It has an insanely strong motor for a super deep clean, and the brush is water resistant, so like 
like I said, you can take it in the shower. I have an amazing discount for y'all. I will leave it linked in the description box. It's such a great deal. You guys don't want to miss out on it. It will change your life and then you're going to want it for everybody you know. So I just appreciate Vanity Planet for partnering with me in today's video. Don't forget to check them out in the link below. Now I wanted to come upstairs because these are the trees that I bought for the boys room and I got them from Walmart. They were only $49. It's just a set of three trees. They're kind of skinny and tall and they are perfect in their room. They're a little bit flocked too. So I wanted to get them set up and honestly, they're so beautiful. They don't really need to be decorated or anything. The boys did ask if we were going to add ornaments. And I told them they could if we found some mini ones somewhere. We don't have any yet, but even without ornaments, these trees are just such a fun addition to their room. Super easy to set up. And then after I do the trees, I'm just going to add some other things that I've been wanting to do in their room. We don't quite have like a set theme or anything in the boys room. And honestly, it's just a work in progress. It's not even nearly done, but we had some stuff laying around the house that we weren't using and wanted to put up on the walls. So you'll see that here in just a minute too. I just want to let you know. So like I mentioned, I did not go out and buy anything, but we just had a lot of random stuff from Bo's nursery when he was a little baby and I am just not quite ready to get rid of it. So I figured might as well put something up on the walls. These walls are still some of my favorite walls in the whole house. I love the green. We are thinking about adding some type of accent wall in this room just to spice things up a little bit. And then the superhero canvas prints above their beds are not there to stay forever. They're just kind of a placeholder because we had those from Max's old room. We're just kind of making do with what we have so far, but I do have some big plans for this room that I am excited about. And I wanted to get everything wiped down because there's just something about adding a touch of whatever season you're in, which now just happens to be Christmas, to a clean and tidy space. And so I just always like to do that. I like to deep clean a lot, but I really like to deep clean when I'm changing over seasons. It just kind of makes the most sense for me. Most all of the decor that is really in the boys room period is from Hobby Lobby. A couple things are from Target and also Home Goods, TJ Maxx. And so I can't really link everything, but if there is anything that I can link, I will make sure to do that for y'all in the description box. But this Raise Them Kind sign is probably one of my most favorite things. I actually just hung it up. I don't think I filmed that for my vlogging channel or cleaning channel. I think I just hung it up but I found it at Home Goods and I think it was $20 or so, which I probably could have made it, but I saw it in the store and it just spoke to me. I thought it was precious, so I grabbed it and it just looks so good in the boys' room. I don't have to party. 
I showed y'all this Rudolph over on my Instagram and a lot of y'all were asking where I got him from. I've had him for a few years now. My best friend and I went shopping at this place called Scott's Antique Market. At least I think that's what it's called. And this guy had a little setup outside and he made tons and tons of those like all different sizes, really small Rudolphs, really big Rudolphs. I got one of the smaller ones, but I think it was only $20 and he did such a good job making them like it was beyond impressive so i'm so happy that i got that because i feel like it's kind of unique and not something you just see all the time and the boys love having it in their room not gonna lie i was a little bit nervous because it does have the little antlers and their boys and they're rambunctious but so far so good and maybe i should knock on some wood some say i'm too uptight but i disagree And then I ordered this fun sign on Target Online. I will link it for y'all too because it is so cool. I don't know why I just love it so much and it was super affordable. I want to say it was around $24 or $25 and it's way bigger than you would think. I did not think it was going to be this big. I didn't really look at the measurements because I figured there was somewhere in their room or bathroom that I could use it. And then once I saw it, I was like, this will be perfect for above their toilet. And I actually ordered them some rugs for their bathroom too, because they have not ever had any and they need some and a new shower curtain too. It's always fun to just change things up from time to time because we have had some of this stuff forever. And as I was looking a little bit closer at the bottom of the boy's toilet, I quickly realized that somebody had not quite made it into the toilet and I had a talk with the boys about it and they both promised up and down it was not them. And as weird as it sounds, I actually believe them because they are so neat with their restroom using and I don't know if that's come from me all the time saying like make sure you wipe the seat down make sure you do this make sure you you know all the things that boys should make sure to do and they typically do that so when I saw a ton of fun stuff on the floor I figured that it probably wasn't them but we have had some house guests over and we have also had friends over so there's no telling who it was it wasn't that big of a deal at the end of the day but it definitely needed to be cleaned up and I'm glad that today was the day that I saw it and it didn't sit on the floor for any longer because that is pretty gross. I have to pay for the mistakes I made But I hope you know that I regret every single thing I did oh, Just tell me your life you have to I just want to
here's a better look at some of the stuff we added and the decor and some of the stuff we just found around the house and put up on the walls. I love these little penguins. They make me so happy. The boys were happy to have them in their rooms too. And then I love that sign that I made so much with my Cricut that I made another one and put it in their room too, which just goes so perfectly because we have that Rudolph. But now I'm moving on to the girls' bathroom. I honestly, at this point in the night, I was like, I'm so tired. I'm just gonna like wipe it down real quick and not film it. And as crazy as it sounds, like when you do the type of work that I do, which is just kind of a bizarre but cool job to begin with, it's like, it feels so weird to clean and not film. I was like, no, I'll just film it and see what happens and I'll use it if I can. And then once you film it, you're like, well, why would I not use this? Anyways, I don't even know why I'm explaining all this. It makes no sense to be telling y'all that, but those are the things that go through my mind all the time. Like, I think that's why my house gets messier now than it did before I did YouTube because I'm constantly thinking, oh, I'll just wait and I'll film that. And then it piles up and then I'm like, wait, this is an absolute disaster and my house used to never look like this, but it is what it is. And I'm still so thankful for this weird and crazy and fun and unique job. And if I didn't have it, then I wouldn't have you guys and you guys make all of my days better. So it's 100% worth it. Y'all, look at how well I have kept up with my pantry. Are y'all not so proud of me? I mean, I'm honestly proud of myself and I did not pre-clean or anything. This is how it has stayed since I filmed that video and I did end up going to the store. Actually, no, I think we had a grocery delivery and I got a few more pantry items just to keep everything stocked up. This is actually the next day. This was Thanksgiving day and we hosted Thanksgiving. So we were having not a ton of people over, but just my side of the family over. So I'm getting all of the pantry stuff stocked up because we had a lot of kids coming over and they always like all the snacks. But then I also just wanted to get the main tidying up on the downstairs level of our house. Honestly, the upstairs, I had already done the bathrooms the night before and the rest of it, I just kind of let go and let God, if you know what I'm saying. I'm definitely not gonna clean the playroom before we have a bunch of kids over. So the downstairs was my priority this morning before everybody got there. And even then, I still didn't focus on the floors until the next day because I figure what is the point in mopping? So all I did was sweep and vacuum. But to the naked eye, it looked amazing. I'm trying to get better about linking my outfits for y'all. So for several videos in a row, I was doing that and then I kind of fell off a little bit and stopped doing it for a couple, but I did go back and add links to those videos, especially with my leggings, because I feel like a lot of y'all are interested in those. They're pretty much always from Amazon. But in this video, since it was filmed over the course of a few days, I have several different outfits on. So anything that is linkable, I will make sure to link in the description box just because I know it's nice to have easy access to it and not have to ask a million questions or even worse, have your questions go unanswered because I don't want y'all to have to go through that. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Cause without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark. Your eyes are shining like the stars. I was down until you.
you saved me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. I have been working pretty hard over the past few weeks to make sure that I have updated links for you guys. So if there's anything in my house that you see and you love, check the description box first because a lot of times it will be linked there. If it's not, obviously feel more than free to ask me about it because I try to get back to as many comments as I can but there are a few things that aren't linkable. For instance, my kitchen table, we had it made by a guy local to us. I found the dimensions that I wanted on Pinterest. Actually, I found the table that I wanted on Pinterest and then I measured out the space while we were building our house and came up with the exact dimensions and gave them to him. So it is kind of custom made. The dimensions are kind of made up by me, but the table was made by a man locally. But everything else that I can link, I try to link for y'all. But of course, always feel free to ask questions. I just don't want y'all to feel like there's a link that you need and I'm not responding or whatever. So I do try to make those links pretty easy for y'all in the description box. I promise I will hold on to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly Take me high. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the now it is the next day and I'm getting into some of my nitty gritty cleaning like the floors and the baseboards and we're pulling out some Christmas decor that you guys are going to see. I cannot get all my cleaning done in one day. Honestly, it takes me a lot of days and then by the time I'm done on the last day, I need to start over with whatever I started with on the first day. So I promise you guys, I don't have my life together either. Look how dirty that window is, by the way. We are tackling that here in just a second too. But like I had mentioned earlier in this video, I always use the seasons changing as an excuse to just really get some cleaning done. Sometimes it's the only time I clean certain areas, like the shelves in my living room. I will dust occasionally, but when the seasons change, I fully wipe them down. So I at least know they're getting done maybe four or five times a year. And then just like the really quick wipe downs all the other times. But I was so excited to get out our Christmas tree. It's one of my favorites. We got it from Hobby Lobby, I think about four years ago. And I still just love the way it looks. I always get sad every year to have to put it back away. If you guys are following me over on Instagram, you saw that I had such an issue connecting the lights but that was actually not on this tree. That was on the tree upstairs, the kid's tree, which we have not decorated either of the trees yet. We just have them up and the lights working. Downstairs on the tree that we put in the living room, the lights are not that hard to connect, but upstairs, oh my lands. It took me about two hours to connect the lights. I don't know what was going on. <laughs>
slide. I slowly have forgotten to remember about you, babe. If this is what all lovers do. I'll find another way. If any of you were wondering what I put in my mop bucket, I put in one teaspoon of the powdered Tide detergent and really hot water. I've seen this all over Pinterest and all over Instagram, a ton of people saying how well it works for any type of floors. And I have to say, first of all, it smells so good. And second of all, I think that it got my floors the cleanest that they have ever been. It works so well. I feel like that in combination with my O Cedar Spin Mop, which I've loved from the very beginning, it just honestly transformed my floors. It made me so excited to mop. And I did get that mop bucket already and mopped a few areas in my floor. And then I got so distracted with getting out random Christmas stuff that I had to come back way later in the night to mopping. So I kind of had to refresh my water but I do end up mopping the entire floor and oh my goodness, it just felt so fresh and clean. It was the best. I loved having this greenery up on the mantle for fall, but it also works perfectly for Christmas time too. So I'm going to find a way to make it very Christmassy. I just need to get all the pumpkins down and get them packed away. And honestly, just any kind of fall decor item on the fireplace or on the shelving unit or in the entryway, it all just needed to be packed up. And thankfully I already have a system of how I pack everything away. So I have bins that are already labeled and a shelving unit in the garage. And so everything stays pretty neat and tidy. So packing stuff up isn't nearly as daunting of a task as it used to be. Joy, the 
Everyone's having a good, good time. I hear the jingle bells, people singing about love. Do y'all have to rearrange the furniture in your living room to get your Christmas tree up or do you just kind of work your Christmas tree into how you have it? So in the past we have put the Christmas tree to the right of this shelf right here and I love it right there but last year and I want to say maybe even the year before we put it in the windows and for some reason I just really loved it there. But because we do have the newer chair from Article, we had to kind of do a little bit of shifting around. Some of the shifting I didn't even include on this video, but Mark and I did move the sectional just a little bit. We moved it back and then the chair kind of catty corner. It's so crazy because I get used to how it is with the tree up. And then when it's not up, everything just feels so weird. If you guys haven't noticed yet, I don't really do things exactly like everybody else does them on YouTube. There's nothing wrong with that, but I have not put out tons of Christmas decor videos just because I feel like you can find all kinds of inspiration for how you want to decorate your house all over the internet. I am going to be including just little bits here and there on this channel just to kind of show y'all what I'm doing, but I am going to be doing my version of Vlogmas over on our family vlogging channel, which is linked down below, but we are going to be doing tons of family vlogs over the next few days and weeks. And a lot of those vlogs will contain just more Christmas decorating, more of like a chatty style video and just seeing more of our family. And I'm also going to be doing a Christmas decor home tour over on that channel too. So make sure you're subscribed over there too if that's something you would be interested in. And for any of you who are new to my channel and just watching for the very first time today, or maybe you've been watching for a little while but haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have y'all hit that subscribe button it's something super easy and simple for you to do. It costs nothing, but it means the world to me. And also, if you want to be notified every single time I post, just make sure you hit the bell notification and set it to all. And that way you won't miss any of my videos. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Up next to you, we'll be sharing our secrets, making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the love of us. We'll tumble round in the snow, and my heart's going boom, boom, boom. You're so beautiful. What a I do not always stay perfectly up to date with changing over my letter board, but having one in the kitchen is one of my most favorite things because you can change it to whatever you want it to say. And I was looking up on Pinterest, just some things to put, and there were so many cute little things, but I ended up asking Mark and that is what he said. He wanted the letter board to have, and it might even have a few things over the Christmas season. I got that letter board from Target and I love it so much. I missed your face Let's have a toast for the love of us We'll tumble brown in the snow And my heart's going boom, boom, boom You're so beautiful I 
I spent a good portion of the day getting a bunch of cleaning and organizing done. I pulled out all the Christmas bins that you can see right there and I'm going to be slowly decorating probably just over the next week. I want to get it done because if it takes too long it's going to be after Christmas that it gets all done and that would make no sense. But around 5 30 ish we had some friends text us and ask us if we wanted to go to dinner. So we went to dinner with a couple other families and it's always so fun. It just kind of breaks up the day a little bit and the kids love being out with their friends so we had a lot of fun but then we came back got the kids in bed and I knew I needed to finish up because honestly I do not get any joy out of decorating a space unless it's really clean are y'all like that too I just feel like I couldn't even begin to decorate the tree or the shelves or anything if there's crumbs all over my floor just wanna have a holiday why are you holding back holding back your love babe i'm about to cry i can take Okay guys, I've been talking about it for way too long and I'm ready to make it happen. I'm going to be painting our island. I already decided it's gonna be black and we're making that happen, but I have a few questions and I would love any and all advice that y'all have because I'm going to be referring to this video when I go to paint the island. So I would love to know if you have ever painted an already painted surface because this was painted right before we moved in because I didn't like the color of the stain. So there are tons of areas where it is already chipping. So I would love to know if there's any type of primer that you've used or a specific type of paint that would be best to paint on this island because this is the central location of our house, honestly and it gets a lot of traffic right next to it and underneath it and all around it so i want to make sure it's the best type of paint i could possibly use and i would love to know if y'all think i should do some type of wood accent on it either down here or on the sides before I paint it because that's one of those things that I just can't decide on. I feel like I want to. Mark kind of feels neither here nor there about that, but I just definitely know that I want it black and I know it's gonna be a process, but I wanna get it done hopefully before the end of the year. I will definitely film it for y'all, but like I said, any and all advice, tips, tricks, if y'all don't mind leaving them in the comments, I would love it. These bar stools are from Wayfair. I do know that they don't sell these particular ones anymore. And actually we are on the hunt for some new ones because the island is about to be black and long term for the floors, hopefully in the next year or so, they're gonna be a good bit lighter. So I'm almost thinking that I might want some light bar stools or possibly black bar stools, but just basically not these. I am going to be giving these away or selling them or something like that, but for now, they're great. They are extremely heavy, like insanely heavy, which has been nice when the kids are younger because when they're hopping up in their seats, they can't really knock them over or anything. But when you are putting them on their sides to clean them or move them or whatever you have to do, they are really heavy. So I keep these felt pads on the bottom of them, but after a few months, they get really, really nasty. So I try to keep up on replacing them. And I've tried other stuff in the past. Y'all have even suggested 
almost like the little cases that go on the bottom or the little clear things that slide on the bottom. The problem is they don't fit on the bottom of these. And when I put them on, they kept sliding off or making it to where the chair couldn't slide easily. So those just did not work for me, at least not for these bar stools. So these work the best and they're actually the cheapest. I don't mind replacing them every now and then. It's not that big of a deal. And it saves my floors because like I said, these chairs are so heavy and they would definitely scratch the floors if they didn't have the felt pads on them. Knew from the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others. A cool kind of melody. You rattle my cage without warning. Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You found a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah Even though I am tired by the end of the day and I'm ready to relax or watch a show or just even go to bed, there is something that is so peaceful about cleaning up the kitchen. Mark had a little bit of work to get done and so I knew that if I spent time to clean the kitchen and get everything back in order, that I would be so much happier about it the next morning. I say that a lot and of course, when I woke up the next morning, I was so much happier. It's crazy how the cleanliness of your home can set the tone for the day. Like I wish that wasn't always the case, but since I know that it is, I love to have a clean kitchen before I go to bed. And these plants right here are so adorable. When my mom came over on Thanksgiving, she brought all the stuff for all the cousins to pot their own plants and they're responsible for watering them. I think they have to be watered every Thursday and hopefully they'll grow and the kids are so excited about them. As we get closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers, which is just crazy for me to even say out loud, I would love to get y'all's input on what we might want the 100,000 subscriber giveaway to be because I want to do something for y'all since y'all have always been there for me basically since day one. A lot of you have been here for a very long time. So I thought about doing a Cricut giveaway. I thought about doing just a big gift card or my favorite vacuum cleaner or just PayPal cash. You guys let me know what sounds the best for y'all. And I cannot wait to hit that milestone. I wish it could be in the year 2020, but that is uh, reaching a little far. So hopefully it can be at least maybe within the next couple months. I've used a number of different types of cleaners on my refrigerator and I just always come back to the Wyman stainless steel cleaner. I think I get it from Target, maybe even Walmart too, but it is super cheap, but it works so well and it makes your refrigerator so shiny. The thing about this is it's not really a cleaner, it's more of a shiner. So I always have to wipe down the fridge first just with a wet towel and then come back behind it with the Wyman's and some kind of towel or paper towels or whatever you like to use, but it works so well. Honestly, it's definitely my number one favorite. Wow, if you guys are still here watching, I appreciate y'all so much. I cannot believe y'all have made it this far. This video was over 45 minutes long, so I hope that y'all found it encouraging and motivating 
And I also hope that y'all are having a wonderful week and that everybody is staying healthy and safe. Don't forget to check out our family vlogging channel down below. Like I said, we're going to be doing Vlogmas, so that'll be so fun and just a great way to connect even better with y'all. And also don't forget to check out Vanity Planet. It's linked down below. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.